Hey, what's up, guys? Boxing with B. Hey, Rob, without the paycheck. All right, this weekend we saw many big fights. We had to put two TVs on just yep. to watch both of them at the same time. Mute one, unmute the other. First one was uh, in the morning, so that was great. Oh, Uzik. that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usyk versus, uh, I don't, can't remember the other guy's name. But Usyk, it was uh, another fight in the heavyweight division. Correct. How do you look in your opinion? He started off, well, you know what? He's getting out, out not out class, but he's getting, you know, out weight. Basically, out the other weight, guys yeah. are using their weight and everything at the beginning. Usyk's always a slow starter. Yeah. But he turns it up. But Usyk, too, the first time that I saw him in the heavyweight division, I didn't like his performance because he was always so dominant. And then when he came in here, it took him longer. Like, yeah, he finished, but it took him longer. The weight's a big difference. You could tell. For sure, it is. But you know what he needs to do? He needs to uh, take a little, you know, look into how Evander Holyfield came. Evander wasn't that big, but he was, uh, I can't remember the, the uh, Mr. Universe that was, when, uh, was out there. He started training with uh, Evander. I mean, Evander started training with him. Muscle wise, but he was training a point where he would gain muscle but not lose his speed or his technique for boxing. And that helped him a lot. I mean, you know, it bulked him up and he hit yeah. harder, became, you know, undisputed champion. So, well, with Usyk, I mean, he came out with that victory. Yes. He looked better this time. Yes, I would a little say. bit better. Yes. Yeah. Kind of seemed that he stunned the other guy a, yeah. a couple of times, but the other guy was coming after him always. Well, he took that one. That was early, like you said. Yeah, and then even there was a women's boxing fight on that same card. Correct. And that was actually a good show, too. Yes. But was it her that called out Clarissa Shields? I believe so. At the end and said, she hasn't fought anyone like me. Like, you know, she she's a champion or whatever, but I'll, I'll fight her. Basically, that's what she said. Yeah. Later on, we saw the Inoue fight. In the undercard, that uh, Louis Coria, he always puts on a good performance. He was the one that when um, COVID hit, he fought against Blue Nose, I think it was. I bet. And it was a full out war. Yes. And then it was like 50 50, and then they gave it to Blue Nose. And everybody's like, oh man, that was like, how could that not have been the well, main event? Second... And then this one happens, and he, oh my gosh, he every time he goes, every time we've seen him in the ring, it turns into a full out war. Like he literally takes power shots and then returns them. You're like, oh my gosh, you know, he might go down or something. He, they but could affect him, and he just you like. Know, these... These, uh, I don't know where these judges, man, like I say, there must be a school that has Adelaide Bird as a main teacher and teaching them how to score. Because I don't know what the heck they were watching. I get so mad, you know? Yeah. I, she, Adelaide Bird was the biggest fight ever and the biggest disappointment. So she's the teacher that's teaching these people how to judge. It's like, come on. They need to change that thing. They need to get, find them, get rid of them, or reteach them. Yeah, I know. You say that every time. I know that. It's getting, know. It's, it's getting, you know, it's... It, not only me, but it's pissing off it's a lot of people. It's frustrating, for sure. That they're saying, even, you know, what were they watching? The, even the guys that are, you know, commentating, what were they watching? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, but, come on. So, so, so that was one of the fights that we started watching, right? Correct. He lost. Good he didn't performance. Lose. He got robbed. Hey, I'm saying on paper, bro. Yeah, I'm just still, announcing the results. Someone, someone needs to start standing up and I'm say these the guys were here. robbed by the judges. I'm not the judge. Period. Don't come they at me. They were judged by the, you know, yeah, the judges yeah, yeah, robbed yeah, them. Yeah. Plank I'm not going to focus on the judges because th this boxing with B, there's so much to talk about yeah. that was way bigger. Let's not focus there. So we move on. And another, uh, Michaela Mayer, I want to talk about that one yes. because she fought against Bradnica. I think that's how you say it. But that girl, oh my gosh, she goes out there and she, lately she's been saying, I want this, I want this, I want this. This is what's going to happen. And she goes out there and performs. Yes. She beat her on the scale too. Rodnika yeah. didn't even make weight. She was overweight. And they she even cut her, her hair. She lost her belts. In. They cut her hair. Yeah, well, thinking that was You know was how they, they do that? Didn't Polly Malinaji have to do that one time? I think so. I think so, right? So we saw that on the scale. She announced, you know, Michaela Mayer was like, she lost it on the scale. It's, it's, it's a sad way to go out losing your belt. But I'm still in the running, and I can still take those belts. And she did. Yeah, but you know Congrats what? Congrats to her. There was no belts given to her. Yeah, she, she won it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I know she what had you no mean. belt yeah. to pr promote. What's that about? I don't know. It's like I said. She even said, where's my belt? Give me my belt. Yeah. It's like, she that's worked true. Hard for what, that what are you doing? You're just like brushing her off to the side because she's the one saying, give me this, give me that, give me that, and making it happen. And now you're like, oh, you're beating our, our champions or something. Or, or Either what? Way. She's what doing it? her job. She's making her dream come true. Yeah. Props to Michaela Mayer. Yeah. She put on a good fight. And then we saw Inoue. Oh, that, Inoue, that monster. Inoue versus He's Maloney. Good. So we Mal saw the last time Maloney was in the ring, 
He had an opponent that, you know, he wasn't supposed to fight, but he stepped in, put on a good performance. He's, he won. Maloney's a fighter. You know, you know he won. Fighter. And then this time, and then we're talking about Jason Maloney, just for the, you know, yeah, since the there's record. twins. Yes. Jason Maloney. So then we saw him this time. I actually said, you know, everybody's like, oh, Inoue is going to just demolish this guy, which I didn't see as like a negative. I'm like, yeah, for sure. He is a monster. Yeah. But this is the things I took into um, consideration. He fought Donaire. Donaire broke his eye socket. Yeah. It's the first time that he's fighting in the United States. And he's it's his first fight signed with top rank. Yeah. So all those came into effect. But then I'm like. And everybody was saying that Donaire was the one that exposed him. Exposed him to what? Yeah. Basically, yeah. no. Exposed him to the world that he's a fighter. Basically. Yeah, he came. So he came. He performed. But I will give Maloney credit because he was coming at him. He was like, yeah, he was not. He, he was, was trying go- hard. He was doing his point to become a champion. Yeah, but it was a tough opponent to have as your second fight in the United States. Yeah, and <laughs> in a way, is an is no joke. He has power. Oh my gosh! So I was trying to like watch that screen and then like glance at the Leo Santa Cruz because Leo was walking out at that yeah. time, and I was like, oh shoot, oh shoot! I'm like looking. I don't know where to look. But then I see Maloney go down. I'm like, oh man, it's over. It's over for him. He got up, fought again. He at at the end of the day, it was uh, one of those he got knocked out, but yep. he put on a great performance. And at the end, he you know he he looked he he was respectful both of them. You know, yep. there's always tomorrow for Melissa. You learn from your mistakes and you learn from. Your but losses. let me ask you this: They came in with high expectations in their first time in the United States. They both now have losses in Vegas. In Vegas, how do you see their next return to the ring? Take everything positive, move around. If it's uh, things he needs to change in his camp and everything, he could try it. You know, sometimes, sometimes I'm not saying because I don't, you don't know. Yeah. Sometimes a new trainer always helps out. That's true. That's true. You know, because a lot of guys see a lot of faults that this other guy doesn't see. Yeah. But in the States. But you maybe, never know, like you said, because sometimes yeah. when they switch trainers, it all goes downhill too. Yeah. They have to find the perfect fit. They got some but, good trainers. You got Freddie Roach. You got, you know, Mikey Garcia's brother. I forgot his Robert. name. Robert. And then you got Joe Diaz Imagine also. Imagine, though, Robert bringing them into his stable when yeah. his guy is the one that dethroned Doesn't the matter. champ. I'm not saying that it can't happen. Can, I'm just saying that the, the storyline. Dang. Lennox Lewis lost to a guy that Emmanuel Stewart had, mm-hmm. you know, and he, Emmanuel Stewart brought him in and made him a champion and made him the undisputed champion again. All right. So, so, so we touched on that one. Now, the main one that shocked the everyone. Shocked the world. Shocked everyone in the, in the sense of like, so first off, it's Santa Cruz versus Davis. And I'm saying shocked because Santa Cruz was the underdog, okay, in the betting odds. Yes. He was like, I think, seven to one. But then you think about it and you're like, how is Santa Cruz a seven to one when he is a warrior? We've seen him adjust in the ring. We've seen him fight. When he won the title, it's like he wasn't even supposed to win the title. Yeah. And every time we saw Leo Santa Cruz in the ring, it was like they were putting him up against people that were meant to beat him. Like, I remember when he was first coming up and you even said, is Leo signed? Who's he signed by? Because it seems like every fight they want him to lose. And he comes out with the win. He, yeah. he his loss was to Carl Frampton. He came back. The, he beat Carl Frampton. Yeah. And so, you know, to see him step into the ring against Javante Davis, I was hesitant, too, because of the fact that it's a 130 fight. He's going up in weight. And he, he, as Leo has been going up in weight, he hasn't been looking the same as when he was, you know, in the smaller division. The guy that is a devastated puncher. You know, he punches. You know, he hits with both hands. You're going he has up, speed. yeah. He is young also, hungry. Yep. And But let me tell you this. Did, did you expect Leo to look the way he did in no. the first couple rounds? He came out good. He came out looking bigger and stronger. It looked like he had some weight training with him. So it looked like, oh, man, Leo actually can take his punches. But the thing is that he was being very smart when he was fighting and blocking. Leo is really good at that. He'll exchange, but he immediately blocks. So when Gervonta was landing those big shots, he wasn't landing them really because it was glove. Like, yeah, it was hitting Leo, but protected, protected every time. But you time. forget, you know, Davis is going to go to win. He's going to start hitting you. He's smart and that's also. that's the thing is like Leo knew this from the start. Leo had said they were like, you know, you're used to giving out full out wars are we going to see this with Gervonta Davis because basically that's not the game plan to do against Gervonta Davis yeah. that's power versus power and Leo 
Leo you know, hasn't really been getting the he knockouts. He has power, but not he, power like he, Devontae no, Davis. he hasn't been getting the knockouts in the as he's been going up in weight. Yes. And then Gervonta, I mean, yeah, he didn't look that good against Gamboa, and that stayed in my head, too, of course, because I'm like, Gamboa's already at the end, and and he tore his Achilles in the second round or third round, and you couldn't finish him. But that's him. why Mayweather brought him here, but, brought him to Las Vegas. But Gamboa is also not as small as Santa Cruz. Yeah. That's another factor, yeah. you know? So... Seeing him here, seeing Santa Cruz take those, I was like, oh, man. And I will say, in that seventh round, I think it was seven, six, six, sixth round. Sixth yeah. round. Okay. I was screaming because I was like, I, I coach sometimes from behind the scenes. Yes. And when they listen to me, they do good. I know they hear me through the TV. So in this one, I was like, move, Leo. Move, Leo. Move, Leo. And, like, even the round right before that, he was trying to brawl. And I was like, oh my gosh, his dad better yell at him and tell him, go back to boxing, box, box, box. And then the fact that he goes back in there and he engages in this war, I'm like, we saw him take him, but he cannot be taking these so wars. He can't, he can't engage. A mistake will cost him. So when he was getting in the corner, I was screaming, Get out of move, that Leo, move. I think we actually got the clip of that. Yeah. Move, Leo, move. I think you got, you know, and then one punch changed it all. That punch, I, it like, it hurt my heart. And I will say this because not, I'm not taking it away from Gervonta. It's Gervonta? just the whole boxing world knows that for Leo, you don't even have to be Mexican or Hispanic to be like, I'm a fan of Leo Santa Cruz. That guy is a boxer. He's a brawler. He's a, outside the ring. He's humble. Yes. I've never heard him like talk smack to someone. Nope. And even in this fight, he's like, you know, the best fighter will come out. I'm going to try to do my best, but he I know. Did. He tried. He was doing his best. And he had even said he knew what could happen taking this fight. He wanted to prove to the boxing fans and people that have been talking smack or criticizing him that he still has what it takes. And, you know, it's like, I think he, he displayed it, of course, but one he got hit it all. with that power shot. And he was even going down with it, too. I was like, oh, my gosh. It was devastating it happened to Pacquiao something like that lights out oh. and didn't get up for five minutes that one was bad too, you know but you had said before that this fight reminded you of Canelo and Khan why yeah because Can Canelo was you know getting hit at the beginning they said oh Khan is doing really well against him wow look at his speed look at his movement and everything and one punch taught it all you know Canelo was watching and doing waiting for him to make that one mistake and boom yeah. lights out yeah and, you know, another thing that bothered me on this fight is, like, Mayweather, that's my boy. You know, money team, not the money team, really. Pretty boy Floyd. I'm a fan of Mayweather. Mayweather. His style. But, oh, my gosh, he was so annoying to me. Seeing him run up on the side of the ring and screaming at Gervonta and, like, coaching them stuff. I'm like. But who else could coach him better than his trainer? Yeah, I know his coach and his trainer brought him up, but. You got the best yeah. in our generation. In your corner. In your corner, yelling, But they have two you, different fight styles, too. Doesn't matter. You still have the guy that brought you and trained with you, all right? And that's, that's another thing we saw here is the discipline, I think, that however it was implemented, whether it was Mayweather's choice or whatever, the fact that Gervonta Davis was out of his element and in Vegas training like that and a longer camp, I mean, it showed he took this one more serious. And everyone's criticizing Davis, too, for taking a fight with a smaller fighter. And it is what it is, but but Leo also accepted that accept, fight. Exactly, he accepted this fight, or or he actually wanted it. Yeah, Leo wanted it, and it's like Gervonta, they put him in front of him, and he performed. And I will say this is like, like I said, he he showed discipline this time. Yep. He showed a different Gervonta Davis. It was no longer it. It was like a matured Gervonta Davis. Yep. I liked what I saw from him, you know. And so to see him. The, the name that comes up all the time is like, imagine a Ryan Garcia in the ring with uh, Gervonta Davis. I would love to see that fight. I would love. Come on, Gervonta Davis. You got, I mean, uh, Lee Orion, <laughs> you got 7 million followers on Instagram. Get your 7 million and <laughs> come on. Go at it. Go fight. Go fight one of the best. You want to be the best in the world? Go fight the best in all the right, world. All right. So then also, though, Lomachenko was also a name for Gervonta Davis. Would you want to see that fight? That I would want to see also. But you know what? Since Lomachenko's trying to come up again, little uh, injury that he got, I would love to see him call out Ryan. 
because he wants to be back on the top 10. Uh, forget that. Let's Get not him. mention that no more. We're, we're focusing on the real right now. Yeah. The but... real stuff right now. So, Javante Davis, did you like his performance? Yes. Leo Santa Cruz, did you like his yes. performance? He wasn't scared. He wasn't running. He, he, he it was a It was a war. It was like a night of wars on yeah. every channel. If he would have, uh, Leo would have been. If Leo would have listened to me. And gotten out when I said, move, Leo, move. Should have, when he couldn't, if uh, yeah, could, yeah. they say he couldn't get out, he should have grabbed him and got out. Yeah. But that's right. the thing is that. He's a warrior. Leo he's is warrior. that type of fighter that he's not. But you know what? He, he gets did, hit, he's But no, go, he, did, right, he, did, he did some exchanges before that. He took those punches. So he thought it was going to be yeah. the same. It's that punch you don't see is the one that's going to get you. Yeah. I saw a lot of that. Michael Moore, when he was fighting Foreman, old Foreman, everybody, oh, Foreman, what is he going to do? He's never going to be a champion. Michael Moore didn't see that double jab coming at him. Then he the, right behind that double jab, boom, the big right hand and lights out. He made the old man the longest, I mean, the oldest heavyweight champion in the world ever. You know, and then he got the George Foreman grill, became a millionaire again, and Michael Moore, who knows what happened to him. But he was also a good <laughs> Hey, fighter. I love that grill. You know, yeah, everybody did, but that changed a lot. Then we got Mike, like two. Then Michael Moore said, you know, if I would have beat him, maybe I would have had that girl for me. <laughs> well, anyways, this was a great, a great Halloween, a great fight. night great. of fights. For have, being quarantined, that was a good way to be quarantined. We were oh watching us. Gosh. But you know what? Here it is. Now we know that Davis is good. He's out there that, you know, that he's one of the best in the world, that now maybe the best in the world will fight him. Now you know how. You got a uh, Timo, Tio Fimo. calling everybody out. Well, there he is. That would be a That'd great be a matchup. Great fight. But I Two will punchers. say, I don't know that 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 one's intense. That would, cause, yeah, because Davis is good, fast, and young. But so is the other kid. I uh, I hope Lopez's dad would watch that and starts calling him out. Yeah. Hey, side note, real quick. I don't want to bring you back to Ryan because I know I cut you off on talking about Ryan Garcia. But I saw a tweet that cracked me up because he said something to Gervonta Davis along the lines of like. You're over here fighting uh, a guy that's two weight classes smaller than you. Fight someone your own size. It's like, bro, at least you wouldn't take that fight with Leo Santa Leo Cruz. Leo would have beat him. Leo. <laughs> but anyways, that, that, that's a I, that was funny. That was yeah, funny. It was. But that was a great, great night great, of boxing. Great weekend of boxing. The Saturday, three, three major oh, fights. Oh, and on, Friday, too. Yes. That Friday, too. Three different divisions, three different networks. Yep. Wow. The Zone, ESPN, Showtime. Yep. Great, great fight, you guys. That great was fights. a good competition. Oh, yeah. Blew UFC out of the water. Yeah. Lights up.